Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unfog with Dr. Athar Parveen. In this session, we are going to discuss the condition for collinearity. If you have not subscribed my channel, please do consider subscribing my channel and also like this video if you are liking my work and share it among other teacher recruitment examination aspirants. Okay. Suppose you have uh, three points P, Q, R and these three points are lying on same line. Then you say that uh, those points are collinear. Okay. Not only three points, there can be many other points also. For example, if you have a line like this, there will be infinite number of collinear points on this line. Okay. Suppose you have uh, these three points uh, and the points are P, Q and R and the coordinates of each point for p it is x1 y1 q is x2 y2 and r is x3 y3 why we are giving the uh, coordinates as x and y because the points are lying between x axis and uh, y axis okay so the points which are lying between x axis and y axis they will be named as x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and so on okay now you can find the slope of line PQ and you can find the slope of line PR, right? So, the slope of the points which are lying on the same line will be same. I mean to say that if the points are collinear and if you join those points and make a line, then the slope of the line here for example PR will be equal to slope of the line PQ because P, Q and R, all the three points are collinear points. Okay. So, here if you take the slope of a PQ, it will be like this, right? You will be taking slope like this. So, this one will be Y2 minus Y1 and this one will be X2 minus X1 and slope will be equal to Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. Okay. Like that only if you take the slope of the full line, the PR, it will be like this. So, if you take the slope, you will get Y1 minus Y3 by X1 minus X3. Okay. Now, if you cross multiply these two equations, then you will get this final equation. And this is the condition for collinearity that this equation will be equal to 0. Okay. So, X1 into Y2 minus Y3 plus X2 into Y3 minus Y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 will be equal to 0. This condition is known as condition for collinearity. Okay. But then this condition for collinearity can also be derived by another method that is your method of determinants. Because here you will have a area of a triangle ABC which will be given by half into the determinant. The determinant will be consisting of x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1 and x3, y3, 1. So, this determinant will be treated as equal to 0 and there will be half here. Now, because you have 0 in the right hand side, that half will get vanished and the condition for collinearity will become this x1, y1, 1, x2, y2 1 and x3 y3 1 where x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 they are the three points with which the triangle is formed if you want to draw you can draw it like this these are the three points with the, which the coordinates uh, with the coordinates x1 y1 and b will be x2 y2 and c will be x3 y3 okay now you can find the area of the triangle using this determinant but then if it is equal to 0 then it is not a triangle okay if the determinant is having some value then it is a triangle you will you can find the area of the triangle right directly you will get the area of the triangle if you solve this determinant uh, along with this half okay by chance if you are getting 0 while solving this determinant the solution of this determinant is 0 means 
then that triangle is not existing. So if triangle is not existing means obviously there is a straight line. It is like that. Okay. So if you solve this determinant, you will get this equation. Now if this equation will be equal to 0 means then it is understood that the points are collinear. If this equation is not equal to 0 means there is some value. That value you will have to multiply with half. Okay. That half is there here. Okay. So that half uh, it is there here. Okay. So that half it will be vanish if you treat this equation is equal to 0. Okay. So if it becomes a triangle you will have some area of the triangle at that time you will not have a value here so you will multiply it with the two this two will go in the right hand side okay so that will become your area of triangle okay now to know more about determinants determinant is a scalar value that can be calculated from the elements of a square matrix and uh, you can see how the numbers are arranged in a determinant you can basically convert a matrix into determinant by just changing the uh, symbol. Okay, that bracket will be removed and one straight line can be written there. So, how you find the value of this determinant is you can easily multiply this elements in the determinant like this AD then minus BC. Okay, this is for a square matrix 2 into 2 square matrix if it is written as determinant you can solve it like this. So, if you have a 3 by 3 matrix then what you do you make small determinants you make small determinants and then again you multiply like this a1 into b2 into c3 minus b3 into c2 minus a2 into b1 into c3 minus b3 into c1 plus a3 into b1 into c2 minus b2 into c1 okay only thing you have to remember is that you will have a minus sign here you will have a plus sign here and the plus is here also. So basically what will be the trend of the signs? Plus, minus, plus. Okay, you will have uh, values here and uh, here there will be the number which will be multiplied there. Okay, here, uh, here you will have a1, here you will have a2, here you will have a3. Okay, so this is how you can solve a determinant. Now based on condition of collinearity you can have an example like this. If the points A 1 comma 2, O 0 comma 0 and C A comma B are collinear then they are given 4 options. Now they are only telling you that uh, these are collinear points. It means that they are all lying on a straight line. So what you can do is this one will be x1 y1, this one will be x2 y2 and this one will be x3 y3 and you have this condition for collinearity this equation you have derived either by treating the slopes of the uh, line which is uh, drawn uh, from the collinear points or you have derived from the determinant okay in both methods you will get the same equation you will treat this equation to zero if the points are collinear now what you have to do is just to substitute these values you have x1 is equal to 1 and uh, y2 will be 0 and y3 will be b plus x2 is 0 so I won't do anything because anyway this entire thing is going to become 0 for me I will not waste my time and uh, x3 is a and y1 is 2 and y2 will be 0 so this will be 0 ok now this thing though is gone here I will have minus b and uh, here I will have 2a plus 2a is equal to 0 so my 2a will become as equal to b ok so option c will be the correct answer okay so only thing which you have to remember is the condition for collinearity if you remember this equation x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 and you treat this equation as equal to zero then you can easily find the answer okay now similar type of question has been asked in hstr 2015 question paper it is the first question of the maths question paper. The question is if the points a comma 0, 0 comma b and 1 comma 1 are collinear then 1 by a plus 1 by b is equal to 4 options are given. So what you can do here is you directly take that equation which is x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 this thing is equal to 0 now here you can uh, do the naming ceremony x1 y1 
x2 y2 x3 y3 and just to substitute the values x1 will become a y2 will become b y3 will become 1 plus x2 will become 0 so i won't do anything because anyway this thing is going to become 0 plus x3 is 1 y1 is 0 and y2 is b so this will be equal to 0 because this is the condition for collinearity that's why we will be treating it is equal to 0 uh, now what i will be doing now further simplification can be done this will become a b now this thing though is gone and uh, here i have one more thing right it will be minus a and here i will have minus b this is equal to 0 okay or i can also write it as a plus b is equal to a b see what i will be doing is i will take minus as common here i will have a plus b and i'll set a b in the right hand side i will have minus a b this things will get cancelled minus minus will get cancelled and i will have a plus b is equal to a b now what i will do is i will divide this entire equation by a b so that i will get a by a b plus b by a b plus uh, not plus actually it should be is equal to right is equal to a b by a b so this thing will become one and here a a will get cancel here b b will get cancel i will have one by b plus one by a is equal to one or one by a plus one by b is equal to one so option four should be the correct answer okay Another type of uh, question, they can also ask question like this. These uh, points are given 0, 8 by 3, 1, 3 and 82, 30 and they are telling that uh, these points form an obtuse angle triangle, form a right angle triangle, lie on a straight line, form an acute angle triangle. So you have to find the correct answer for this. So you have been given the three points, so you have this uh, uh, equation but then if this equation becomes as equal to 0 it means that the points are collinear collinear means they are lying on a straight line okay if this will not be equal to 0 some value will come it means that it is the area of a triangle later you can determine whether it is a obtuse or it is a right angled or acute angled triangle but right now you can find out whether it is a triangle or a straight line correct so what you have to do now you use this equation do the naming ceremony x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 and y3 okay so now just go on substituting x1 is a 0 so if this will become 0 means everything will become 0 correct so i will not waste my time now then x2 x2 i have 1 and uh, y3 is uh, 30 and uh, y1 is 8 by 3 plus x3 it is 82 and y1 is 8 by 3 and uh, y2 is 3 okay now this thing to became 0 so i will neglect it this thing what it will become 3 3 3 is a 990 minus 8 by 3 i am subtracting plus Again, I will keep 82 as it is and in the brackets, it will become 8 minus 3, 3 is a 9 by 3. LCM will be 3, right? Now, LCM is 3. Now, the LCM uh, is 3 for both the things. So, denominators are same. I can uh, uh, simplify the numerators by keeping the denominator as it is. So, here I will have 2 and uh, sorry, it will be 82 and here also I will have 82. You will have minus sign. So, this will become 0 because 0 upon 3 will be 0. That means it is a straight line okay option c will be the correct answer because all the three points have satisfied the condition for collinearity okay they can even ask you this type of a question in fact this is an important question i am expecting this type of question this time they will give you three points and they will tell that it is uh, collinear points and they will tell you to find the unknown value. Here you can see the coordinates. You have 2 by 5 comma 1 by 3. This will become x1 y1. Here you have 1 by 2 comma k. This will become x2 y2. And here you have x3 y3. The unknown term is k here. So they are telling you to find the unknown term. 
Now you have this condition for collinearity. Just you have to substitute the values and treat this equation as equal to 0. So x1 will be 2 by 5, y2 will be k and y3 will be 0 plus x2 will be half, y3 will be 0 minus y1 will be 1 by 3 plus x3 will be 4 by 5 and y1 will be 1 by 3 and y2 will be k. So this thing will be equal to 0. Okay. Now what you can do, you can just simplify it further, 2 by 5 into k plus this thing to will become 0, so minus uh, this will be there, 1 by 6 plus again you can simplify it, uh, this thing if you simplify, you will get uh, 4 by 15 minus 4k by 5, this will be equal to 0, okay. Now take the unknown terms one side, you will have 2 by 5k minus 4k by 5 minus 1 by 6 plus 4 by 15 is equal to 0. So this will give you minus 2k by 5 and uh, this you can put it in the right hand side if you want. You will get 1 by 6 minus 4 by 15. Uh, you will have minus 2k by 5 in the left hand side. In the right hand side you can have LCM. It will be 30 right. See for LCM for 15 and 6, 3 5s, 3 2s. LCM will be 30. So in the numerator you will have 6 5s are 30 minus 15 2s are 30. 4 2s are it will be 8. So here you have minus 2k by 5 in the left hand side and you have minus 1 by 30 in the right hand side. No minus 3 by 30 in the right hand side. I will write it properly. Ah, now this 3 will get cancelled with 30 as 1 by 10. So you have minus 2k by 5 is equal to 1 by 10 and k will be equal to, ah, it will be minus here also right, this minus will go. So k will be equal to 1 by 10 into 5 by 2. So 5 1s are 5 2s are or this is equal to 1 by 4. So k is equal to 1 by 4 is the correct answer. So these were the questions which can be asked or based on collinearity. See one question is compulsory. Okay. From the questions which I have discussed in this session, one question will be compulsory. Maybe the data points or the coordinate points will be different or you never know you may get surprised you may get same question also you never know but then the pattern will be same okay they may ask you to either find the value of k or they may ask you to find whether the given points are collinear or no okay so basically these are the procedures which i have shown you the two methods are uh, one is uh, treating the slopes as equal another method is solving the determinant but ultimately you will get this equation x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 this will be equal to 0 if collinearity is there this will not be equal to 0 some value will be there at that time it is a triangle but then you should also remember that half which was getting 0 because you had 0 in the right hand side okay if 0 is not there in the right hand side then you have to multiply the 2 for the triangle area okay so okay friends this was a session about condition for collinearity i really hope that uh, this session helps you okay uh, and uh, please do subscribe to this channel if you are liking my work and if it is helpful to you and also you can join the telegram channel and the link is also given in the description. Many aspirants uh, from teacher recruitment examinations, especially HSTR aspirants, have joined the group. You can have healthy discussion with them in that group. And also I have paid classes for uh, PM method. Okay. So you can join that batch also. Okay. The details of everything will be given in the description below this video. Okay. Thank you. All the best. Bye.